Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And today, we got a $1,200 full gaming and streaming setup. Does it look like it's $1,200? No, it looks way more than that. And it is featuring a PC with the RTX 3050 because it has that NVENC encoder. It might be a really good budget option for those looking to get into live streaming. Before we dive into the setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Team Group and their Delta Max RGB Light SSD. That comes in capacities of up to one terabyte, comes in black or white, and features a gorgeous ARGB panel that you can take any gaming PC to the next level. It also uses the latest 3D NAND to handle tons of reads and writes, and it is all backed up by a three-year warranty. Whether you're building a brand new gaming PC or wanting to upgrade your current rig, you should definitely consider picking up the Delta Max RGB SSD Lite from Team Group. Be sure to use our coupon code in the description down below to save 5% on checkout. Special thanks to the end of them for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it, shall we? So as many of you may or may not know, we do these full gaming, full streaming setups quite often. So what is the difference between a full gaming and full streaming setup? Well, with the full streaming setups, we have dual monitors typically because you got one for your primary gaming, usually a higher refresh rate, and then one that's just for viewing purposes. You know, if you wanna check out your OBS uh, stream, you wanna check out your actual Twitch comments, give it, take it, whatever, you know, you just you need a second monitor. That's pretty much essential. We also include a webcam, and we also typically will include a mic because those are kind of some essential things for streaming. The rest of the setup though is pretty basic and really it could be used interchangeably as a gaming setup. So we're gonna go ahead and do is revisit this PC, which we have made a dedicated video about, but if you haven't seen that, hit the other top right corner. But we're gonna talk about the specs of this bad boy and then dive into the rest of the streaming setup. So on the specs of this gaming PC, this is an $800 gaming PC, realistically. I mean, let's be real. On the current market, it's probably gonna cost you more, but this is $800 MSRP. So this actually has an i3-12100F in it, which is actually very similar to like the i3-10100 4-core A thread, except it actually has a pretty good boost to it. And it performs about, I would say like 10, 15% better than the i3-10100. So like the strongest 4-core in the market you can get right now. We have this PNY Accelerate RTX 3050. And this is an awesome card because not only does it have in-bank, it also has ray tracing. So if that's something you're into, you have those two features. Performs a little bit better than like the 3050 Ti, um, oddly enough. Um, we also have a Wi-Fi motherboard. This is a B660 from Gigabyte. It's a DS3H. There you go. DS3H, DS3H Gigabyte uh, B660 motherboard. Um, we have a nice uh, V-True air cooler on top of the i3, which I totally skimmed over. We have this nice EVGA 500 GD. It's an 80 plus gold. So that definitely gets the job done in a lower wattage build like this. That is all inside of this Moose Text case with these very nice RGB fans. And of course, we also have storage. We forgot about storage. Yeah, a lot. Storage just, yeah, basically what we're saying is you should go watch that video. <laughs> go watch the video. Just go watch the I video. I do not remember the specs of this thing. Matt, you're up. <laughs> First up for the monitors, we have an AOC monitor right here that is 1080p 144Hz. The exact model number is the G2490VX. It's $179, which is a good price point for a 1080p 144Hz monitor. And of course, with the streaming setup, as Jackson mentioned, you want to get a secondary display. So we basically inserted this random BenQ 1080p monitor. Really, you can go with a super cheap monitor, something you can pick off like Facebook Marketplace for like 50 bucks. And as long as it serves the purpose of having chat up there and you can read it, that's all you really need. You don't need matching monitors unless you're gonna spend more than $1,200. So that's what we did to save some money here. Basic BenQ monitor. In terms of the peripherals we have right here, we have this Red Thunder keyboard, which you might think, Red Thunder, what the heck is that? Well, it is kind of a no-name brand. They make just probably a generic keyboard and they slap their branding on it. But the one thing I liked is that there's this row of programmable keys. So you don't have to get a stream deck or anything like that. You can do some scene switching to up to six keys and you won't have to worry about changing any functionality on the main keyboard. Comes with red switches, RGB looks pretty good. In terms of the mouse, we have the Logitech G203, which as you can tell, I went with the name brand mouse because I feel like you don't save a lot of money going with cheaper mice. There's a lot of good budget mice from the companies like Logitech and Razer, and this one is one of them. Very lightweight and it has nice RGB on it, so we definitely went with that one. This mouse mat is just a generic extended mouse mat. There's a lot of different designs, colors, and themes that you can go with from Amazon. Definitely pick one of these up. It looks really cool. In terms of the microphone, here we go. We have the Tonar uh, TC40 mic kit, which 
which we've done pre-rolls on on the channel. It basically includes this USB microphone, this whole shock mount setup, and the mic arm, and it all is around like 50 or 60 bucks. Sounds pretty good, um, and we're very excited to use it in the streaming setup. You'll be able to hear it when we do some testing. In terms of the webcam, we have this beauty. This is the Case Cube webcam, which is a little bit more expensive than some of the budget ones you can get on there, but it has a couple of interesting features like the privacy filter and this built-in little light, which I don't really know how much it's actually going to do, but we're gonna use it and show before and after. Um, and yeah, it's a webcam. Webcams are pretty affordable nowadays and it'll at least get you up and running into streaming. You don't need to get anything crazy. In terms of headphones, we have these Arctic's headphones. I'll be honest with you, I tried to find some cheap headphones. These are cheaper than I thought they were. Um, they'll probably be fine, but really you can go with any sort of earbuds or anything. You don't need something with a microphone because you already have the microphone right there. You don't need a gaming headset. So I went with this option to save some money, but uh, yeah, a lot of different options you can go with. I think I covered everything here. Let's just dive into some streaming tests. All right, guys, we are now playing Apex Legends. Of course, we, we got it. We got to do some sniping. Um, but we're actually on, I believe, like lower settings at the moment. It's actually pretty that high. Is, that is not lower <laughs> settings. We're on high settings. For some reason, it just it, at first looked lower to me, but I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we got this owned overlay over here. We picked out a, a pretty cool one, uh, at least in our opinions. But there's a lot to choose from. Like, it looked like there was well over 50 to choose from. So, well worth it, in my opinion, the fact that it's just so easy to use. The real question is, can we get some kills? It's bullying with the Mozambique. Oh god. No! No! I had, to get, I had to get the thirst. Where'd the last one at? Is he hiding from us? <laughs> yeah! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! That's my. Bro, if you hit this, McAllister has to use squirrels. What? That miss? Oh Whoa. my god. <laughs> the teammates the got him. Teammates got him. Woo! I was well, you, you could have got like a big montage. I know, dude, that, was, that was going crazy. McAllister's got to do some squirrels, man, but he, you know, he couldn't do He could have added time. squirrels. Um, he could still add a squirrel. He could. He McAllister could add a squirrel. You know but what hey, to do. This overlay, clean, simple. I dig it. We could add a lot more too, but yes. you know. I'll show you the rest of this. Why would we go crazy, right? We're at intermission, guys. This is the light test. I don't think it's gonna do very well. Oh, so we got, we got the audio adjustment. All right, so this is the light on. All right, here's the light off. Oh, oh, oh. I see it. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. We're just gonna keep it like this. I like this gamer look. All right, we're just gonna run with display capture. We are in Fortnite, we are ready to go. Um, yeah, so you guys can actually see MSI Afterburner for some reason game capture was not working, but the display capture seems to be working very well. Got that RTX 3050 and the NVENC encoder. We're still getting 100 plus FPS, so woohoo. Let's drop in and see what the frame rate levels out at. I'm being real with you guys. These headphones are squishing my noggin. They're not awful sounding. It's just I don't like on-ear headphones. Oh, I hear some... It's an NPC. The enemy has been found. Somebody is trying to call me. Please don't call me. I'm trying to get a snipe in Fortnite. He's scared. He's very scared. They were so scared. But yeah, look at that, guys. Fortnite, it works. I killed that guy. And it might be the only guy I kill. All right, that was definitely a bot. Woohoo, we're back to bot lobbies, baby. On that note, I think I've killed two people. That's enough Fortnite. Let's try another game. All right, before I dive into the next game, I just want to give a big shout out to Owen for sponsoring this section of the video. They have a bunch of cool stuff and the overlay I think we're using, I'll be able to pull up in a second. It's pretty cool. Um, look at all these different things you can add. You add different uh, stream labels, different green screen borders. So this is for if you have like a, uh, green screen webcam setup. You can just use that as the border. There's a bunch of different options. I went with this basic, super clean, like blank webcam because, well, that's just what I'm 
prefer, but you can do a lot of different stuff with owned and their own pro subscription, which is pretty affordable. It's like $12 a month. You can save money if you get more than one month. Um, we'll go ahead and show you how everything now, as you can see, it's basically a plugin you install to OBS Studio, and then you can get access to all the free overlays. You can enable alerts, link it to your Twitch account, and you're good to go. I mean, look at all these different like profiles. Look at this one, Pixel World. That one's really cool looking. I like that one. There's a bunch of different ones that you can get, and uh, yeah, they look really sick. So definitely check out Own for your next overlay uh, purchase or upgrade for your streaming setup, especially if you do the streaming setup. Check out Own to pick out their stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just go into another game. All right, guys, we are now in Her uh, Forza Horizon 5. I was gonna say Horizon Zero Dawn. That is not the same game. Uh, we are running on high settings and we are just in the start, I guess. Drop it like it. And I'm in Mexico. Here we go, buddy. We're getting up to speed in this Bronco. Here we go. We're zooming. Whoa. Oh God. But yeah, guys, as you can tell, getting 90, oh my goodness, 90 FPS on high settings at 1080p while streaming. Pretty impressive. This little 3050 is very capable of streaming pretty much any AAA title you want at medium high settings at 1080p, making it a pretty good option for entry level streaming if you can get the GPU at the right price. Oh boy, this is the end of me. Thank you all for watching our stream today. We're gonna go back to the starting now screen and we're going to, uh, yeah, go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right. All right, guys, so we just got done testing some stuff on this setup, and we actually showed you what some streaming will look like on it. And overall, it did really good. I mean, that 3050 held up in even the AAA titles we tested on it. So overall, if you want to pick up this setup or this PC or pretty much anything that we have on this table, even Jackson, link in the description <laughs> down below. We have affiliate links and it does help us out. And uh, yeah, definitely watch the video on this PC if you haven't done so already, so you can see some more benchmarks and more of a deep dive on the performance of it rather than just a streaming test. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Rose. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye. And hey, if you guys want to come and pick up this full setup, not have to worry about parting anything together yourself, making sure all this stuff's compatible and works, you can pick it right up from us. PCBros.tech is our PC selling business. We'll probably have a setup that looks just like this up in our store that you can come in person and pick up or buy some PCs online over at PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Goodbye.